prisoner. I'm here to negotiate. We have no problem killing your son. I dare you to go after Charles. Who said anything about Charles? You just never know what demo is going to reach out to. And it's just really great to... to to see that, like, I think some people are going to not know why they love it so much. And I think the subconscious reason might be is that they're getting to see people who look like them just live life, right? Like, and be a part of something that is larger than life. And it's a big whirlwind adventure that they're going on. And and also just to have, like, some of those cultural relatable nuances that, like, if you know, you know, you kind of go, oh, yeah, yep, yeah, yeah. You know, the, those little moments add up over time and you go, oh, yeah, OK, there's other people who have experienced this. I may have never been part of a crime family, but I can relate to certain aspects of their family dynamic. Bruce, our family is head of the Jade Dragons. So we're like criminals. You could have told me that. <laughs> it means a lot to me because I, you know, it's it's been great to witness over the past few years just how great represent representation has been specifically um, for Asian Americans or just Asian uh, in entertainment in general, whether it's coming from across the world or over here. Um, it's really refreshing to see. And I think for something like this, that was so exciting for me is that I basically would have died to watch this show as a younger person. And not necessarily about specifically the Asian American experience, but just to see anyone who looked like me living a cool life, you know? And so even if it was fighting for your, for, for your life in a larger than life uh, mafia triad story, it's just like, oh, there's something here that makes me feel comfortable that I can see other people who look like me go through crazy situations and be entertained by them. So to be a part of that here where we're able to kind of mishmash genres, but like kind of have our cake and eat it too, where we're having a lot of fun with the genre, we're having action, it's comedy, there's violence, but it's, it's, it's still funny. But then also able to talk about maybe the things that make us a little bit more insecure as well, but do it with a bit of a laugh and a chuckle and a wink. It's like therapy in a show in the weirdest way possible. It's like you kind of get everything in there. And um, hopefully people respond the same way that I did, because that's how I, when I read it, I was like, oh, my God, this is everything I would have wanted to watch. And I would have seen myself in Bruce's character 100 percent. Go, girl. Get with yours. Or or don't go, girl. Or at least pause, girl. Which brother are you? You know, at first, I got to say I was intimidated, right? So I, I, I had, you know, obviously we all know Michelle Yeoh, and I had followed her legendary career and has watched pretty much every movie she's been in. So I've respected her from afar. So when I met her, I was a little nervous. Just honestly, I was nervous because I was like, I don't know, you know. I don't know what to expect. And um, I hope she's nice to me. And then she was the nicest person ever. Like she makes you feel like you're her family very quickly. Like she becomes Auntie Michelle very fast. And she was very welcoming to all the young cast. You know, she constantly had gatherings so that everyone can feel like a family and she's very warm, very welcoming. And obviously we all know how professional she is and how regal and how talented she is. But she's also just a good person. And um, she was so generous to the younger cast who most of them, it was kind of like their first big thing. And so she got to be a part of that experience and nurture them as well. So it was really, really great. And her comedy skills, it's a shame no one had really asked her to do it before. I mean, obviously, you got to see some of her comedic chops in everything everywhere. So for her to continue to show that she's got way more range than anyone ever thought possible, I think is really great. Um, I think a lot of people are going to truly latch on to the family dynamic um, because it's so charming to watch. And it's going to remind you whether or not you um, have family members that remind you of some of our characters, you've had annoying siblings, or you've had some um, differences with your parents. Like you're, There's going to be something relatable for you in every aspect here. 
Um, so I really hope that people come away um, loving the characters because that's where it all starts. And then if you love the characters, you're actually going to care about what happens to them. So that's what I hope people take away from is feeling like they're part of the family and is truly invested on whether or not they survive. I don't think we've ever hugged before. They're probably going to die, so... Might as well get one in before you go.